Hey guys, today I want to talk about Canon 7D Mark II. It is a great camera. If you have it, you know it. It's great for the photography and I do plan to use it for the photography mostly, but some of you know that I'm a student in the film school, so and I love to have some kind of equipment to be able to have a great video shots, not just a photo. I do have a camera just for the video, but uh, sometimes it's good just to have one equipment with you. Also, having the DSLR ability to flip the lenses for a particular situation, it, it's a big plus. And if talking about the pluses, ability to have a shoot in a RAW, that would be even better. But unfortunately, Magic Lantern, the, I would say, leader, in uh, uh, creating the software for DSLR, Canon DSLR cameras. Unfortunately, they doesn't uh, do the software for the 7D Mark II. They do for the 7D, they do for 5D, for 5D Mark II, for 5D Mark III. But for some reason, the 7D Mark II have been on the market for more than one year, but they kind of avoiding this area. They saying it's not enough people who would work with that, or maybe they doesn't have equipment. But anyway, uh, fact is a fact. We doesn't have that kind of <laughs> software. So what to do? I love my camera. I love the video what it should. So all what I need is just get some way to expand my dynamic range. Get my darkest darts darks and whitest whites as much as possible. So normally what you do, you, ch you go in the settings and in the pre-settings you like uh, push down uh, everything like color, saturation and everything so you can get as flat image as possible. Uh, but I find out something else, it's a plug in that you install as one of your styles. Uh, each which called this uh, Cine style. So that's, I'm going to install on my camera and I use that on my uh, T4i before I discovered Magic Lantern and it worked really great. That's why I'm going to install here. So if you in the same situation as me, by any means, I'm not a professional. I'm not trying to teach you like with everything saying like, oh, I know everything. No, it's just something that helps me. If it's going to help you, Great, put the like. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to show you step by step how to install um, that plugin on your camera. Uh, normally, you would need to have the CD what comes along with your equipment. But if you doesn't have a CD, I think it's even DVD. Uh, if you doesn't have that, or for example, you doesn't have DVD ROM in your computer or laptop not a problem i will show you where to find it how to download it so what we will need to do we need internet access if you doesn't have that you do need internet access to download the cine style plugin you need your camera you need your cable to connect your ca camera to your computer and follow the steps let's go to canon website Canon website and uh, over here you can find support that's what we're going now we need to drivers and downloads type in your model if you do doing also as me 7d mark 2 get drivers and downloads Okay, what do we need? It is going to be software. And uh, what we're looking for, it's EOS utility for Windows, if you're using that for Windows. It's quite a big file, but hopefully if you have a good connection, it should be fast enough. Type in the serial number it's located on the bottom side of your uh, photo camera. This one is downloading. Let's go on uh, another website and find Cine Style. Yeah. 
here we go and we're going to download this file this one is way smaller so after some registration really simple one actually just ask for your name and your email address and uh, also for what kind of company you plan to use that I just put personal use and it gave me the link to be able to download it so download will start in a few seconds here we go and it finished downloading so both of our files is here let's see okay I moved those two files that downloaded over here and going to start with installation of utility And here we go. We go to remote shooting. And now register user defined style. That's where we need to go. And it's going to be first two I'm going to use for my photography. So number three, what you're doing, you just going to open it up, desktop. Technicolor semi style. I removed that from a zip folder. Okay. Take a moment. And now it should be in your camera. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hopefully it helped and hopefully it will improve your videos. Bye bye.